Welcome to a little bonus video. I really, 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 really want to draw dinosaurs right now. I'm gonna grab my sketchbook and the pen. Look, it comes with double prizes. I hope you'll grab your sketchbook too and join along. I have this problem where I keep jumping around my sketchbook, which is not like me at all. So I have these like blank pages between pages. So we could start there. What I like to do when I'm practicing drawing something, especially something that I don't draw quite as often, like dinosaurs, I like to draw it from memory first and just kind of see what I'm working with. Then when you start bringing in the references, you're going to find things that you miss and it's gonna instantly start looking better and it's just such a beautiful boost to confidence. Ooh, I'm thinking T-Rex. He's like my true dino love, so we'll start there. Also have the most experience with him. Come on, Ben. Okay, we're good. What I remember about T-Rexes is they've got like a head. I'm gonna use a square. Then they have a snout, sticks out from that. But then they have this section that kind of sticks out backwards from the head section. Then they have like a torso. Then they have their Godzilla belly. Actually, they're usually drawn more. It's okay. <laughs> Horizontally, right? Ours is more Barney shaped. Now the legs, I don't remember. The legs are definitely something I have trouble with. Mm especially in this angle. But we have like eyeballs up here, snout, give him a smile. Obviously this is a very friendly looking T-Rex. One of my favorite parts is like the way their mouth will be like one of these shapes. I think they have like ears or something. This is where their little armies come out. Hips, knees, go backwards a little. This is like technically their foot and then they have their toes. Hey, that don't look too bad. Now how do I do out from this angle? Give them little toenails. A belly button. <laughs> Did dinos have belly buttons? <laughs> I'm not a biologist, clearly. Or an archaeologist. <laughs> I'm gonna give them some teeth, although I've been kind of obsessed with dinosaurs lately and I've been watching a lot of informational videos and it looks like they've kind of reached a bit of a consensus lately that T-Rex had lips. But give me my Jurassic Park glory, I don't care. We'll have some exposed crocodile teeth. There we go, look how cute. Okay, there we've got our little T-Rex. He gets a heart, cutie. But now I'm gonna level up my dino game. So I'm gonna find some references. Well, maybe I should try and draw him more horizontally because I know that's like how T-Rex walked. Can I even, ooh, this is, I've actually never drawn a T-Rex in this angle, oh dear. Well, that ain't easier for me. <laughs> Can we make him running? Uh, uh, okay. No, we'll get the reference. We'll get the reference, we'll get the reference, it's fine. Not really the vibe I'm going for. Cute. <laughs> Rendering? I mean, I suppose we could look at Jurassic Park because he's my favorite baby. Oof. I mean, in Jurassic World, when they opened Paddock 9, I cried. I cried. I cried. The Jurassic Park T-Rex is the cutest version of a T-Rex that you can possibly have. I'm just saying, like, even him, he pales in comparison. Even though you're trying to be so freaking cute, oh my gosh, look at you. But no, I'm sticking to it. Sorophagonics. <gasps> look at this. Okay, yep, yeah, this definitely has some leg action that I need, because that, uh, do I even have to say anything? I dabbled a little while where I was like, oh, Velociraptor is my favorite dinosaur. But no, 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 that didn't last. Came back to my one true love and it's the king. It's the king. I mean, look, look at a Velociraptor. So what is smart? <laughs> Beauty <laughs> first, okay. Ooh, this one's from the video game. That like Jurassic World Revolutions or whatever. I could do this all day. We're just gonna pick something. I think I will use this one from the video game actually because, <clears throat> why, why? Mm, because it is the most closely resembling the one from the movie that I love so much. So I'm gonna just draw that first. Let's see where we end up. He's got this big old head that I love. I like these ridges that go over the eyes, come down to the snout. It kind of like points upwards a little bit. And these little pieces kind of come outwards a little bit more. I'm kind of exaggerating it first. Then there's that section that kind of comes out even further behind the skull. But it looks like in this picture, the neck kind of gets smaller and then there's the torso over here. And then there's the little arms. I love you. Okay, and then there's nosy the eyes up here, eyes up here. Okay, this ain't going so hot. <laughs> it's still the ugly stage, give it a sec. Lips. Oh, there's that shape, look at that. 
Hey, 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 it's coming together. Gotta just build it up, give it a chance. I'm just trying to find all the lines. There's like a piece that kind of comes up over the nose. Teeth. I love how he's like little teeth in the front. I think that's so cute. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't want him to chase me around or anything, but on screen, I'll love him from a distance, okay? Eyelid, this piece kind of like comes inwards a little. Let's find all the planes. That's the word, plane. This kind of comes down and around like this. And this is all kind of in shadow. Oh, hey there, buddy. If you had a pet T-Rex, what would you name it? Honest answers only. <laughs> I feel like Bartholomew would be really good, but I don't think I'd ever like settle on that, you know? I feel like you need, it's gotta be something regal, you know? Cause he's a king. He's got all these little scale warts. <laughs> Round that off a little. But then there's even more jaw here, you know? You know, I gotta say, art never stops being fun. Cause like, I don't know, it's always amazing me that I can actually draw something. If you're in that stage where like, why can't I draw what I want to? That stage lives with you forever. So even when you start being able to draw things you want to, you're still amazed. Maybe that's just low self-esteem, but it makes art fun. Now there's a bit more of like a hard shadow under this line. Now his little torso is down here. This is all in shadow from his big noggin. Just start lightly. We can build that up. Now he's got little arms. His booty is like lined up with his teeth. I mean, look at that. So then there's this like middle section and then there's the legs and I didn't really leave room for this, but that's like the knee, thigh here, hips up here. The other leg kind of comes out back here. Just push that backwards. <laughs> Little Rexy. I do want to add like a lot of texture to the face. A little texture on the kneecap. And gotta fill in this shadow finally. Look at him, he's so cute, I love him. Here's our T-Rex, there's our first one with a reference. Do you see our comparisons? Now I'm gonna try and redraw without a reference using what I learned from this guy. You can see like the hip almost lines up with the bottom of the jaw, which I obviously got way wrong. I got a lot closer here. So we have the head. The nose is actually a lot higher than I think I realized. And then there's that big jaw. It's a higher up in the front. Comes down, up again, down, up again. <laughs> He's got those little teeth in the front and some bigger teeth here. And that's like the skull. I like the eye, what a, where it is. Kind of lines up with this section here. And the eyeballs like here. And then the hips. Ooh, I still don't know what I'm doing with the hips. Tail. Obviously there has to be enough tail to keep them level. It's crazy how you can like watch the movie a million times and still have no idea what their legs look like. <laughs> Even though you know you've physically seen it before. Oh, I can just hear the T-Rex roar. <laughs> I think the ankles actually need to be a little smaller. But hey. <laughs> Improvement. Slow but sure. Looks a little angry. I don't want him to be angry. What's wrong, buddy? A little texture to the end of his tail. Just make it look more three-dimensional. I would love to probably maybe take, <laughs> probably maybe, take like a colorless blender and kind of go over some of the spots of the pen. Now with the purple pen, it ends up looking really pink when you go over it with this because this is basically just alcohol in a brush. See, I'll show you over here. If I like go over it, you can see it kind of turns pink. I kind of just want to add a little texture and shadow to our Rex. You know, dinosaur texture. Blot it on there. Go over and around. Make him a little bit more T-Rexy. Kind of blot it and pretend you're painting in scale. You'll notice it goes on a little darker and then it kind of fades. So don't be too scared. Let's see where there's a lot more pen, it's gonna look a lot more dark. A little darker at the top of him. Mm, beautiful. I'll just clean the end of this a little bit ready to use the next time. I'm actually gonna trace over some of those spots, but not all of them. I want it to look very loose and sketchy. I'm gonna take a little white gel pen and a little highlight to the eye. Just make it a little more visible. Nice and stocky. Like I like my dinos. I might actually 
since this went so well and I was able to like pick out a lot of details, this is where we started. So any sort of detail is going to be a lot of detail in comparison, but what I would love, I think I will go back to some more Jurassic World Evolution video game models because I'm digging it. Ooh, here we got one yelling. Look at this guy. I think we should draw one with his mouth open. Yes, please, yes, please. Okay, do it over here. We'll do a nice big boy. This is the neck. This is the skull. It's kind of very wide and open. Uh, like this. So we got lots of teeth coming out like that. The big round snout. This is that ridge thing. The nostril actually ends up at the end of that. That's interesting. At least in this reference. That's the top of the jaw. And then the bottom way down here and go, ooh, wee. And they got <laughs> that like skin flaps, whatever those are called. <laughs> In the reference, his eyeball is like looking who knows what where, but I am going to not do that. This is like the hole where the eye goes, but then there's the under eyelid and there's the upper eyelid. And there's lots of like wrinklies. Oh, he doesn't look angry enough. I'm gonna add a bunch of shadow here to make it look like an angry eyebrow. And then we're gonna have lots of shadow probably here too from this ridge. Now this is kind of the top of the neck, but then there's all this like hangy flesh stuff connected to the jaw. And then there's the shoulders kind of coming up that way. Rory. <laughs> Name him Rory. There we go. Really curls upwards, a little bit of lip. Doesn't quite look as scary without the teeth. <laughs> Grandpa Dino. Gotta give him some uh, orthodontic surgery here in a minute. And the little tiny front ones. You know who's another cutie patootie? Godzilla. <laughs> I do like monster movies, by the way. I'm not sure if that's obvious. I'm gonna really build up the pen over here. Look a little more like a T-Rex. Those teeth definitely helped. A little texture in there too. Now this is where like the arms are coming off. So this is kind of a shadow. The trick with like if you like sketching in pen is definitely start as late as possible. Then when you like a line you can make it like really thick and heavy and then it's gonna hide your little mistakes, you know? Here we go. Watch this. Details. <laughs> Man, doesn't he look more like a organic object now? Oh, we didn't do teeth down here. We'll finish the tongue. I feel like the tongue should be more arched. Let's see if I can do that. Now, I didn't really leave room for these little teeth, but my Posca pen might save me here. Let me see. Just little tiny guys. I'm gonna try to draw them on both sides so that they're, uh, what's that, symmetrical? Texture to that lip thing. Might add one up here too. Now, I'm not crazy about the eyeball. Let's see what I can do with that. I just want him to look angry, you know? Like he's roaring at something. <laughs> I feel like I can, I have the freedom. There we go. Let's cartoonify the eyeball a little here. <laughs> now, what always helps with a roar is to add a little bit of spit, you know? Like a it, it, it. Now look at that, so much better. <laughs> I think I'm gonna also take the colorless blender and do a little bit of this on that. When I was doing it here, it was like so dark and I was even like, you know, it fades a little bit, I, but I didn't really trust it. It fades a lot. <laughs> that does not have the kapow that I thought it did originally. I'm gonna be a little less scared. <laughs> we'll go ahead and add it to this Rex. Lots and lots of texture, some dots, you know, you know the drill. <laughs> Ooh, that looked cool when I went over that eye area. Mm, look how cool, just a little bit of pen. Well, a lot of pen and a little bit of colorless blender. And then a Posca pen's handy too. <laughs> See over here, there's like not really room to add anything else, especially with this shadow from the previous page. So I might just take a straight up like pink Copic marker and just add a little like circle back here to make this guy pop. Also, in Jurassic Park, T-Rex's eyes are yellow. I'm really, really tempted to grab a yellow. I'm not sure what yellow. This one actually would probably work really well. Fill in the eyes. Oh yes, 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 yes. Now we have a little bit of paper left. So what we did, memory, reference, memory, reference. I think it's time for memory again. And these purple pink dinosaurs are just so pretty. I can't stop looking at this. Does that mean I did a good job? I really like this little wrinkly section. 
let's just see. Let's just see what happens. I <laughs> I added color to these, so even if these turn out bad, I don't think they're gonna like distract from this. So we're fine. We're fine. Come up with a fun pose though. I don't know. We'll draw small. Why not small? Okay, this is the booty with the legs. Oops, we're gonna interfere with this. <laughs> that's, that's the leg, right? Or so. What if we turn the head inwards like he's running from something? <laughs> this is too weird of a pose. No, 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 no. I don't like this. I don't think I like this at all. Maybe if we stretch out his body, it'll look more natural. The neck's here. Head would be here. The little arms would be here. <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, you can tell I didn't use a reference, I think. Oof. Oof. <laughs> What if we give him blobfish eyes? Does that redeem him? Okay, he definitely needs more chin. This is where those like wrinkles are. Tried to make him smiling. You know what? I was wrong. It does distract. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> the face though, he's like, <laughs> he looks like he's going for like a daily stroll. The legs are still, I think, my area of most concern. Give that some space to breathe. It's not bad. Still uh, an improvement to that. Which I think was what I was trying to do. <laughs> he just looks so done. He's like, yeah, I don't, I didn't need to be drawn ever. He just looks very dissatisfied. Another issue that I'm noticing that I encountered here, I think, because I started freaking out. I started pushing harder. And so then I have a lot darker lines in areas where it's like not what I would have preferred to be the final line. So it's really hard to kind of go over that again and darken it up even more. He looks very dang, like nimble on his toes though. I'll take it. Still have more room, so I'm gonna draw another one. I think a bit more stationary. I want to practice the legs. That's really where I'm confused. I like this leg a lot, but it looks very similar to the leg in this reference, which I still have up. Which may or may not be a coincidence. So I think it means I need to practice the legs more. So I'm gonna find a reference again, maybe of a T-Rex that's not moving so much. So I can just kind of see what the legs are supposed to look like. Here's the head. Neck or so teeny little arms. Then this is the leg. So it kind of does take up like all the way up to the, the spine. Didn't really leave room for the feet. Mm. That actually kind of makes me mad because that's what I really wanted to drop. And for the skull, I think it needs to be a little longer. Push this leg backwards. Just down, upwards, down, up again. That's the, <laughs> that's what that looks like. This little area with the eyeball. Ooh, this is turning out to be my favorite skull, I think. It's also this little uh, circle thing I found. It's like right here, which looks kind of cool. His neck got too short. I'm not sure where it went. I think the jaw <laughs> ate it. That's kind of like where the jaw is. Hey, that doesn't look too bad. It's kind of like the way the tail kind of like Get smaller into the distance. I'm gonna add that like tiger stripes that I feel like the Jurassic Park one has. Grab that wet pasta pan, add in the texture on this thing since it's so small. Oh, it looks like glitter. <laughs> glitter dino. Gotta give him that yellow eyeball. We'll do this one too. Even though I kind of want to forget that one exists. Yeah, what I really want to do is draw the dino feet, but I've run out of room. I'm gonna search T-Rex foot one little second. Ooh, we got the skeleton. Look at this thing. So cool. Eventually it's like a trapezoid. That breaks off into these like triangly shapes. And this is like the talon. And then on the T-Rex one, they added texture here, kind of like a bird. And then there's this extra little claw thing. So that's a claw. That's a claw. That's a claw. A little, I don't know, skin there. This is all just based off of the bones. Just trying to make it up. And from what I remember from these guys, I love the way that looks. I was watching a lot of like Stan Winston school videos about how they made the original T-Rex animatronic. Ooh, Jurassic Park. That's some good watches. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Does that look good? I'm gonna grab the colorless blender. Hey, how's that look? What if I put the other one back here? 
There's the <laughs> T-Rex's other foot. Hey, look how quickly I whipped that together. Maybe I'm learning something. <laughs> and there's just like space between them, obviously. Okay, now you don't really see the spit, so we're gonna have to add more of that. I hope you're having fun, because I am. <laughs> there's space right here, so I would love to find, I don't know. What do I want? <gasps> see, this is that little area. Uh, 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 uh. That little area that comes backwards and higher. There's bones there. Vertebrae and whatnot. <laughs> Verte what's it? Let's see if I can draw a little tiny one. That's a leg. It's that other leg. Tail. Little arm, little arm. Needs more of a neck. I always forget the neck. And then there's the skull. Hey, that's kind of cute. I like the little stumpy tail. Okay, how did this go? Push the leg. Push that leg backwards. Gotta give it the orange eye, eh? <laughs> this one still gets me. I used to hate it, but I don't know, he's growing on me. I love his little dainty legs. He's like prancing around. I think what I'm having the most trouble with is getting the proper ratio of head to body because I'll like sketch in a little thing for the head and then I'll sketch in the body. And then whichever one I draw first, the rest just ends up being the wrong size. <laughs> Did anyone watch We're Back as a kid? Again, loved the T-Rex. I think the last thing we gotta do before we end it for the day. I think it's only natural to end with a little blub, a blub dino, which I have drawn before actually. Hopefully it won't be too tricky. Okay, where do I stick him? Where have we got space? I got space right here, <laughs> but it's cutting it. I could draw on top of this. When I draw blobs, I like them to be simple, quick, and very like base, made out of basic shapes. So I don't see why the T-Rex should be any different. So this is the torch or the skull, and then this is the snout. There'd be eyeballs like this, and there's the part that comes out backwards, tiny arms. I guess we could turn his body, try and make it fit. Mm-hmm. Needs his little arm, little arm. Definitely needs the tongue sticking out. <laughs> The face is nice, the body I'm still pondering. Okay. <laughs> it didn't really worry. Let me try again. Where have we got space? I can't leave it on that one. Maybe just his head? I don't know. I'm trying to make it too complicated. Maybe <laughs> turn his neck that way. Keep a nice thick chin. What it's missing is all those like fun ridges and things. And the way I drew them, there isn't really space because of the eyeballs. You know, it might just be one of those things that shouldn't have blub eyes. I didn't think that th a thing existed, but maybe I found it. Maybe he just needs the yellow eyes. <laughs> maybe not. I'm not just gonna try and uh, redeem whatever this was, and then we'll stop. <laughs> you tell I'm having a hard time uh, stopping. Ooh, look at that skull. And it needs a little longer neck. We've established I draw T-Rex necks too short. I did draw the leg really short, but it's just so that I don't interfere with this beautiful baby. <laughs> smiley, smiley. I like the way it looks with the really big like jaw, but then it like goes smaller at the snout. Description. <laughs> okay, now his other leg. using that sketch that was already there, basically. Is that a funny little leg? It looks like he's wearing a cast. Yee! There we go. Okay, there we go. I think we've filled about as much as we can here. <laughs> so many little T-Rex memes. I feel like it needs a little bit of this pink color up here somewhere. So I'm gonna just draw some hearts to kind of even out the composition of the page. Anyway, thanks for coming along and joining me as I filled another spread in my sketchbook. I guess I used, what, pen and marker and Posca. I had a lot of fun, and I do want to do this again with, like, different breeds of dinosaurs. I really want to do Triceratops and Stegosaurus. I'm avoid- I'm definitely avoiding Therizinosaur, but we could do, like, Bronchiosaur, Brachiosaur. I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.